All right, everybody. So today we have a B and W DME. It has some uh, problems with some misfires and some other issues, getting false codes. And we're going to test our MOSFETs on here and show you guys how to test those and how to replace them when they're bad. Um, so if you're getting those error codes, um, this is what you need to do: is pull your DME out of your computer and meet the hood. And um, and here you go. So we do repair these. So the first things you're going to do is you're going to put your meter into the beep selection diode mode. Okay. And when you do that, you're going to you hear it making that noise right there. Nothing, beeps in the middle, and nothing, okay? So that one is good, okay? Next one. Perfect, that one's don't make any beeps have. at all. Test it, beeps in the middle, no beeps on the outside, looks good. Our next one here, no beeping, beeps, uh-oh, look right here. So this one right here beeps on the outside leg right here, so we got a short, no beep, and we got a short. This is common. This one goes all the time. I find it very common. See again, this one here got a beep, okay? So we got a problem there. The next one here we're going right. to test. Good. And no beeps. Beeps. No beeps. Okay. So there's our bad one right there, okay? So you guys can see that is our problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace these MOSFETs here, okay? See on the screen there too. Get it nice and hot. All right, there we go. So, you guys see that one just came off right there. Now I generally replace them all. I don't just do one. I actually replace all of the bad MOSFETs. That way it was the better ones because these are the original designs, they have a lot of faults in them. The replacements are better designed and have less chance of failure. Now generally you need to check your injectors as well because generally it's an injector fault. Check your coils too. Alright, we're going to get it hot heated up and then we're just going to remove it like that. Okay. Can you see okay? Nice and toasty. And there we go. Okay. And the next one. Alright, so, and here we have all new ones, getting ready to go on. Get that solder nice and nice and hot on there. And we add that on there. Let's get that on. Do our next one. All right, let me see. Watch the solder there. Push it down a little bit, see the solder coming out a little bit. Okay. Get the 
shorts. All right, so now, no more short. So that was the cylinder that was bad before. So there you go, all replaced and all looking good. Thank you guys for watching.